It's important to understand deploying a process does not execute the process into active production. After deploying a process, it must be executed either by manual execution, this can be done under the Manage Process Reporting, or by applying it to a schedule. This would be Manage Atom Management. Think of a deployed process as putting an airplane on the runway. It hasn't taken off, but it's waiting for the OK to start flight. Process schedules allow for permission to take off by applying automation of an integration. One of our goals is to deploy the prospect tracking process on a schedule. Schedules allow for automation of integration down to the minimum of one minute intervals. We're going to place our process on a five minute schedule. This feature is accessible via the Manage Atom Management tab and is implemented after the process is deployed. There are different ways to automate a process. The most common are internal scheduling, so the schedule indicates when a process runs. Schedules are created down to one minute intervals. Advanced schedules are created to execute on specific minutes, and a retry schedule is created to show when failed documents are retried. A more real-time automation approach is to enable a real-time integration, discussed in our integration developer track. This supports event-driven integration via web service publishing, HTTP SOAP, and AS2 shared server, which is a listen-only connector which accepts AS2 requests in real-time and initiates Atomsphere EDI processes. This creates new execution thread for each push from a client application. Together, we're going to walk through exercise three, which is configuring the process schedule. So again, after you deploy a process, it's ready to be pushed into production, which Boomi calls execute. So we can either deploy this process manually or place it on a schedule. So we can automate timed executions as frequent as one minute intervals. In this exercise, we're going to configure for a five minute schedule to create high activity on the Manage Process Reporting tab. So on the Process Lifecycle panel, at the top, we're going to click on Manage Atom Management. Then if we click on our Atom Cloud in our production environment, and then under Runtime, we're going to click on Deployed Processes. Because remember, we deployed our process prospect tracking to our production environment. So again, this was Manage Atom Management. We clicked on the Atom Cloud in our production environment. And under runtime, we selected deployed processes. Then you can see a blue arrow next to prospect tracking. So what we can do is we can click on the down arrow next to prospect tracking, and we can edit the schedule. So in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to add a schedule to it. And we're going to schedule by type on the minute with a start time of 0000. So this is 12 o'clock in the morning an end time of 23.59, which is 11.59 p.m., with an interval of every five minutes. And you can leave the defaults checked for how it appears. So we can select OK, and the schedule is saved. That completes exercise three, which is configuring a process schedule.